Peace, King. Yeah, I had to come back and go live because as soon as I went off live, I noticed that we go in again in the comments and I really don't understand why the comment section, my comment section is exclusive to misunderstanding, but nobody wants to go directly live with me so we can talk and we can exchange actual words and voices. So when we type away with our fingers in the comment section, we don't get confused by context and by our personal perception of the words that we're reading. Because as usual, as usual, and this is not an attack, this is not nothing, this is pure observational fact. The feminine always seems to be the one that, you know, has a confusion or a problem because they're choosing a perspective but not seeing what's being said, but choosing the perspective that they're looking from, which is usually an internal and personal perspective, making it an attack. And I'm always inviting anybody to come and talk to me. Y'all run to my comments. Y'all type away in my comments. But nobody wants to come to my live, go split screen, and actually have a real discussion where we could hear each other's voices, we could understand the connotation and the context is being spoken, and we don't have the opportunity and convenience to misunderstand or misinterpret something based on what's being typed in a comment section. So I'm just seeing if these people are going to come into the live. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. And then you know what? Let's just go into the subject because I might as well put this on my YouTube. And just because this whole aspect of the current female slash woman not understanding the current foundation and agenda that's been going on for 30 to 40 to 50, going on 60 years because it's 2020 now, all right, going on to 60 years and this refusal of seeing the structure that's been built around the woman with a result of uplifting her yet destroying the male population. And I find it quite interesting how quickly, even this thing today with people saying, because today we say facts and opinion in order to dismiss what's being said. So if I present a fact immediately, you will conveniently call it an opinion in order for a subconscious dismissal of it as a fact. When in actuality, I'm showing you numerous, numerous sources, articles, consistency, See, a fact is based off the consistency of the existence that you're in. An opinion comes from one individual. And this is the thing that's so destructive in this current era because everything is based on how you feel. Truth and fact is based on how you feel. We utilize facts and opinions for the convenience of dismissing information or accepting it. And nobody is in the foundation of logic and intelligence. So if I say something that you don't agree with, you'll call it my opinion. No matter what I show you, no matter how many statistics, how many studies, how much science, how much biology, how much not, no matter what I show you to make yourself feel better about dismissing it, you'll call it an opinion. And then on top of that, which is even worse, when you say something that is your personal opinion, you'll call it a fact. And nobody wants to differentiate the differences between these two words 
to give definition to something that is realistic. I go out my way to go live with y'all so y'all can confront me and we can have a dialogue and exchange. But y'all seem to want to save your disagreements for my comment section. And guess what? There's times I'm not going to sit there and type a whole bunch of stuff back and forth with you. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a woman, <laughs> okay? I'm a man. I'm one directional. I get to the point. I'm logical. I'm left brain. My ego doesn't rule me. So I'm not, I'm not trying to prove anything to you. I'm showing you by observation and consistency what is our current reality. Of course. And we live not to show, don't show me, I don't, don't show me nothing, I don't want to see nothing. You got to think about the mindset and the character of that type of person. There's no integrity in that type of character. There's no type of honor in that type of character. Why not allow the person to show you what their proof is and then you discredit the proof by you proving it wrong. If you feel that you have the truth, prove me wrong by your truth. Don't dismiss what I say by calling it an opinion. See, all of this is the human shit I'm talking about because many of us, and, and listen, I'm not knocking, I accept the humans, but you need to recognize when you're in a human brain and mindset because once again, humans get so easily offended and then immediately they got to defend their offense and then they pretend they're not offended, which makes it worse. <laughs> I've never run from a question. I've never run from an interaction. I go live all the time. I'll go, I go to other people's lives and ask them questions and they don't answer me. They ignore me. I don't ignore anybody. I don't ignore nobody. But everybody gets courage in my comment section. I'm right here. Well, everything is fast because it's a reaction. A reaction is immediately. A response takes time because you're allowing it to dwell within your brain and decipher and discern the difference between something that is an attack and something that is a pure observation based on consistencies within realities, which lead to a fact. A fact is based on the consistencies of the reality that you're in, not on the exceptions and not on the minorities. That's what's going on. We're dealing with reactors. And honestly, the feminine is a reactor naturally. So I completely understand that. But if I've already shown you something, and I've shown you something multiple times, and I've shown you multiple versions of it, and I've shown you multiple sources of it, and you'll still get up and still be confused or still choose confusing because understanding is a choice. An individual has to choose to be understanding. And many of us don't want to understand because it has to hold ourselves accountable to understand something that we disagree with by a personal perspective. So now you got to take accountability for something that you now understand that you didn't understand before, which means you have to change your participation in the problem. I could do this all day, but as a man, as a true heterosexual masculine man, I will never go back and forth with a female about nothing. Never. Once I present facts, basis, science, consistencies in existence, you got it. But if you truly are seeking, inner, if you truly are seeking understanding, if you really are seeking clarity with genuineness, you will come and see me, sit with me, look at me, talk to me, question me, challenge me directly. This is why many so-called gurus never give you the opportunity to do that. They don't give you the opportunity to do that because they don't want to take the risk of seeming like they're confused and not knowing what they're talking about. And I myself do it all the time. I test these gurus all the time and they either ignore me or they block me immediately. I don't block nobody. I don't even block the idiots that be trying to attack me and call me names. I'll block y'all because I love that shit. Deify me, nigga.
Exactly. Facts are stated, opinions are argued. And you know, it's funny too, I find it quite interesting that as soon as something comes up that involves accountability or involves our current state, all of a sudden, both both the black man and the black woman are creators. <laughs> Immediately, as, as soon as something has to do with accountability or has something has to do with the current position in our society as a whole people, not as your individual ass, not as your personal perspective, but I'm talking about entire communities, entire cities, entire states. Now, all of a sudden, the black man is a creator. But when it's about good things, the black woman is the creatress of all existence. And you'll accept that. But as soon as it comes to something that you might have to be responsible for, now it's both our faults equally. <laughs> Ain't nothing in existence equal. You can't blame your son and yourself at the same time. I'm always giving y'all opportunity to talk to me face to face. My DM stays wide open. I don't run from nobody. I don't restrict nobody. I don't reject nobody. Even, even most of y'all that are parasites and just use me all the damn time. I'm still serving y'all. I'm still, I'm still giving myself to y'all. Oh, no, because when we're equal, if you got to understand, you portion out the accountability. You have to portion it out. It's almost like it's almost like you can refer it as taking a poison. If I have a poison pill and the pill as a whole can kill me instantly, I'd rather split the pill with you and maybe I'll survive. So now I'm going, well, I'm not going to take this pill. Well, let's split the pill down the middle. <laughs> you take half and I'll take half. But it's your pill. It's not my pill. I don't know anybody else that give y'all the same opportunities to question them. That's always looking. That's always looking to be challenged. That's always given opportunities for these situations. And once again, I personally test all these people. I'm in their comment section asking questions. I go to their DM asking questions. I go to their lives asking questions, and they just block me. I don't be blocking y'all. And you know, the funny part is when they are in my live, because once again, just like I said with my live that just passed, I'm not here to pick on nobody. That's not my character or my style. But I see y'all when y'all are there and then y'all get quiet and y'all don't have nothing to say. And then as soon as the live is over, you got paragraphs. <laughs> 